Holy smokes, Betterment is rolling out 2.69% checking and savings accounts. 2.69%? That sounds amazing or too good to be true. And they're also going to refund all of those pesky ATM fees you get. You know, when you stop at a gas station and you get charged three bucks, you're there to buy a hoagie at a Wawa. That's a Philadelphia reference. And then suddenly you get charged three bucks because you use, get some money out of the ATM. They're going to refund all of that. Does, does this sound too good to be true? Well, it might be. That's today's show. Let's dive into it. Hey everyone, I'm Clayton Morris, longtime real estate investor, and this is the show where we help you build financial intelligence so you can ultimately build financial freedom. So it's late, it's nighttime. I wanted to get this video out there because so many people are talking about this on the internet right now. So all of this sounded amazing. All the news hoopla around this sounded amazing. And just as they announced it, boom! Financial regulators stepped in and said, wait a second, Skippy, not so fast. We went through this last year with that Robin Hood company, not so fast. We have a few questions we would like to ask you before we are allowing you to roll out these checking and savings accounts. So regulators stepped in with some pesky questions and their questions specifically targeted customer clarity, meaning is there enough clarity for me as a customer when I'm opening one of these accounts? Do I understand these accounts well enough? So we'll get to that in a moment. But first, what is Betterment? Well, Betterment is an online financial advisory company. They're out of New York City. They've got 300 employees. They manage billions of dollars in assets through their brokerage accounts. But according to The Economist magazine, they're not very profitable, making about $40 million, but they're managing billions of dollars in customer brokerage accounts. So they're running probably pretty tight, almost like how Amazon has run for many, many years, maybe marginally profitable, according to The Economist. Those aren't my words. That's The Economist. And the appeal of Betterment is that you can invest with just $1 where a lot of other big brokerages don't even want to talk to you unless you've got a couple hundred thousand dollars to invest. So just one dollar. So remember when Robinhood tried this last year? Robinhood announced they were rolling out these 3% interest uh, checking accounts. Sounded amazing, right? Everyone's exploding about these 3% interest uh, checking accounts. But there was a big problem. Because they are not a bank, they were operating as a brokerage, these accounts were not FDIC insured, and they had to walk them back. And so Robinhood called it off, said, no, nah, we're not doing it. And they said they're gonna revise their program. They still, to this day, as of this publishing of this video, Robinhood has still not rolled out their revised version of that checking account. So there are problems here and regulators were none too happy about this company, Robinhood, not being a bank, but offering bank products, which were not FDIC insured. And it caused consumer clarity to go down into the toilet. So that's why regulators are stepping in this time with this Betterment account. But this could be different. This could be totally different because according to Betterment, the reason that this is different is that your deposits into a Betterment checking and savings account are now backed by the FDIC because these accounts are backed by actual banks. They have to be. They have to be. If you're offering a bank product under the law, they have to be backed by a bank that is FDIC insured. These accounts are going to be backed by Citibank, Barclays, and Valley National, which is good. So the checking like accounts are insured up to $250,000. And if you do the savings account option, that will be backed up to $1 million insured by the FDIC. So that sounds great. But stop the presses. I'm not getting too excited about these interest accounts. First of all, I worked in the news business. I know how this game is played. If you're not being talked about, if you're not being talked about, that's a bad thing. And Betterment is being talked about. Why? Because their company's CEO is all over the news talking about these accounts. And you have to start to ask yourself these questions. Why is this important? It's very important for this company 
because they're not gonna make very much money at all off of these types of accounts. They're gonna make some small transaction fees, according to them, from using the debit card for these accounts. But what do they want? They want you to open up one of these checking accounts, open up one of these savings accounts, and then they will make money off of you deciding to also have a brokerage account and decide to do some trades, buy some stocks, some stocks in Apple and other things, and start to get into the stock market. That's where they will make their money. This is great for this company, and I'm aware of this in the news business. They're out there. When they're talking about you, the headlines, the press releases, you're showing up on CNBC, as we saw from the company's CEO, was all over the business news, Fox Business, CNBC. They're talking about Betterment. They're making waves in the industry. Where Robin Hood went wrong, Betterment went right. I'm gonna put my money in there, and that's gonna generate a lot of buzz. Good for them. But what about the actual checking and savings accounts themselves? I'm not too excited about it, because again, the 2.69% interest is only good through this year in the checking account. So if you sign up this year, it's only good through the end of the year. That comes directly from Betterment's website, that this is only good promotional offer through the end of this year. So without that promotional offer, it's down to 2.43%. Still not bad, but it's not 2.69%, which is what everyone's talking about. So once you start to get into the fine print a little bit, it's not as sexy. Plus, the APR is a variable rate, which means it can change at any time. And even the company's CEO admitted this in his interview. As he told CNBC, with the Fed about to do an interest rate cut, Betterment would probably adjust its interest rates as well. So 2.69%, mm, not really, if you really start getting into it, and for how long? But maybe they'll give you a free toaster. But I love how we're getting so excited about 2% return on your money. This is why I'm a real estate investor, because when people are getting excited over 0.5%, 0.10%, this is ridiculous when you could actually put your money in a tangible assets that produce monthly cash flow, the tax benefits through depreciation and cost segregation, all of the stuff that can actually help you build true wealth. That's where the real excitement is, when you can get a seven to 12% return on your investment. That's the stuff I get excited about. That's what I try to teach you here on the channel. So what kind of returns are you currently getting from some of these little piddly checking and savings accounts? I'd love to know. Hit me up in the comments below. But if you're also interested in generating real wealth, you gotta check out a video that I did, one of my most comprehensive videos to help you build true passive income. It's my ultimate passive income tutorial. You have to check out that full video right here. Please grab a pen and paper because I think it can really help you build financial intelligence. We'll see you next time, everyone.